Okay, this tutorial will show you how to install IntelliJ 2020.1 with uh, Java FX 14. So let's download uh, Java. Let's see. I'm going to download 14.0.1. I'm using Windows 64. Just try to remember install uh, directory. This is what we have here. Um, JDK-14.0.1 Properties, Advanced System Settings Environment Variable New Java underscore Home Pass to Java installation directory, copy, paste it. OK. Click Pass, New, and percent Java underscore home, and percent, and uh, backslash bin, that's where Java C compiler is, and then New, class pass. Variable name is a period current directory. OK. For Java. Say Java C version 14.0.1. That's correct. Let's install IntelliJ. New version uh, 2020.1 came out a week ago. So I'm going to download that uh, .exe for Windows 64. It's about 540 megabytes. Okay. Again, installation is uh, straightforward. Uh, next. Next, I will have a desktop shortcut for 64 bit launcher. Next. OK, install. Finish. OK, privacy policy. OK. Continue. I prefer to use a light version. Next, uh, next. Okay, create new project. So let me start with uh, Java. We have uh, GDK 14.0.1. Okay, next. That's OK. Next. Say hello world. Finish. OK. Close. Here, um, 
source directory. Create new Java class. I will say hello world. Okay, that's the class name, hello world.java. Let me just quickly type main uh, methods. Open close. System uh, println. Then just say hello world. Okay. Uh, IntelliJ has a run menu. It will uh, compile, then run your project based on the uh, main methods. So here, hello world, that's the one we have uh, main methods. Run it. Just simply display hello world on console. Once, once it's done, okay? Here you go, hello world. They say that it's using JDK 14.0.1. Uh, IntelliJ, as far as I know, it's compiled with uh, JDK 11. Here, I say 2020.1. It's using um, Java 11 internally. Okay. Don't worry, you are actually using JDK 14.0.1. Okay, if you're going to use uh, JavaFX with IntelliJ, you can continue. JavaFX um, Well, some of you know, uh, JavaFX is no longer comes with uh, JDK 11 or after that. So, uh, newest version is Java FX 14 downloaded for Windows 64. Um, there is no actually installation, just unzip it. I already have it, so just drag and drop. That's it. And this is what we need. These Java files are what we need for Java FX 14. Okay. So try to remember this location. Next, we are going to uh, download Java FX in Builder. There's um, uh, tools to to support uh, GUI development. So it's quite useful. So we are going to use SimBuilder 11.0.0 um, that was support Java 11 or higher version. So Windows Installer, download it. Set the terms and the license and then say next. Okay, finish. So now we are ready to develop JavaFX application. So go back to IntelliJ, create a new project. This time select JavaFX application. Next. Uh, you can name it as a uh, JavaFX Hello World. Finish. This window. This project uh, does not support JavaFX uh, 14. If you click uh, main.java or sample.fxml, some syntax appear in red color. Basically saying IntelliJ cannot locate uh, JavaFX 14 because we are using Java 14. That does not come with uh, JavaFX support. Okay. 
So we need to manually add structure. For this project, we will add uh, JavaFX 14 library. That's what I used to have. So new project library, Java. It's on the uh, program files, Java, JavaFX SDK 14. Okay, that's the library we are looking for. Program files, Java, JavaFX library. Okay, all of them. Okay, it is replaced. Okay, seems okay. Apply. Okay. Now syntax highlights back to normal. Okay, it means IntelliJ knows uh, where JavaFX 14 is. So our project is ready to use JavaFX 14. Let's try to learn it. We are trying to learn a uh, main application here, main.java. Don't worry, just say uh, there is a problem with uh, learning these applications. So learn, uh, edit configurations, VM options here. We need to add um, Java FX module. The path is uh, where the JavaFX library is. This is the one C drive all the way. You need to put absolute path, basically saying beginning to end. Make it clear, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be two lines, but more readable. Add modules. By default, usually uh, you need minimum two of them. Okay, Java FX controls and then FXML. Do not leave space after controls, comma. Okay, don't leave space after comma. Apply, okay. Try to run it again, uh, main. This time it will work. Again, uh, that's it. You look at the title, Hello World. Okay, we just set the title. That's it. That's how you use uh, JavaFX. Next one, I'm going to show you how to use with uh, SimBuilder. Because this is uh, pretty painful if you type it everything by yourself. Okay. Here we go to sample.fxml. Open in SimBuilder. It's going to launch um, SimBuilder. So we have a grid pane by default. Then we are going to use a very simple application, one button. Then uh, one label. So inside grid pane, we have a one button, one label. So, label, I will use initial call LBL for FX ID, that's uh, going to be uh, object name, say LBL message. For button FX ID, again, that's going to be object name, I will say OK first, that's the actual value on the object name, which is FX ID in uh, FXML. BTN OK. Here on uh, event handler, I say handle BTN OK. OK, save it. And here we come back to IntelliJ. You say button OK, create a new method. This is somehow not very automatic. Um, you have to do it manually. Here is how, let me just say, uh, OK button is click. That's the message I will print it on console. Then 
that. Don't worry, that's just a hint. Implement uh, initializable under Java FX XML initializable. You need to implement one abstract method called initialize. Okay. We don't have to do anything at this point. Okay. Just happen to be initializable. This interface comes with one uh, abstract method we have to implement it. Here we click OK, just print a message. So let's say when I click OK button, there are two of them, FX ID. Click create field LBL message. Now we have a variable. This somehow uh, semi automatic in IntelliJ. Okay. Here um, we have a variable called LBL message, a method called set text. I'm going to print here out or sending same message. OK button is click. That's all. Run it. Click now. We have OK button is clicked on console. Also, it's on label. Okay. Normally, this uh, should be declared as a private, and this one should be private. Then some sample FXML. You supposed to have a uh, what they call it as a uh, FX ID annotation, so you can do that. So you're just simply adding FXML ID. Okay, annotations. That's all. I think uh, not very straightforward. Okay, still works. This is how you can use uh, JavaFX 14 with uh, IntelliJ 2020.1. Thank you.